Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Ray Jr. Uh, what you see right here before you is uh, Biscuit's uh, dinner. Um, we have, um, this is a beef, was it beef? Beef, uh, beef uh, strip steak. So what it is is uh, every year, me and the wifey will go down to my hometown, close to Henderson, Kentucky, and I'll get like a half a cow. So there's so much freaking meat that, you know, we got to get, you know, I ain't going to say get rid of it, but, you know, got to eat or whatever. So uh, we normally mix it up with biscuit a little bit with his food. So I got this in the pot. I was going to boil it because normally we just give him like a, a raw chicken or whatever. My four is raw diet or whatnot. But, you know, like I said, every now and then we mix it up um, with, with his food. So right now I'm boiling it. And then once it's done, I'll uh, cut it up some more and, and then feed it to him. So go ahead and let this finish up. I'm going to go work out, come back, and then go ahead and uh, feed the pup. That's what we call him, the pup. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's see here. It looks like uh, the meat is done. I'm boiling. So what we're going to do is... Take some of this out. Put on the pan over here. He's patiently waiting. Get his uh, din din. And go from there. As you see, I got it right here. Um, the stove is off. Gotta make sure that's off. Let it cool down a little bit. See, I got his pan ready. I went in and cleaned it out. I used a little Dawn dish soap, a little pad, the yellow part, scrub it, scrub it all out. We we clean it out every time after he finishes eating, so that way there's no germs, no bacteria, none of that stuff in there. So, like I said, let it cool off a little bit. Normally, with this right here, with the juices and stuff, we'll put on his uh, dog food. Uh, but Biscuit is real picky with his dog food. Sometimes he'll eat it and sometimes he won't. I, probably because, you know, we give him the meat and stuff and all that. But um, my next go around is probably switch it up and go with some uh, Bully Max. Uh, I know he did real well with that last time with the supplements and all that stuff. So I'll probably go back to that eventually um, with the high performance. Even though he's not a high performance dog, but he does get around going up and down the steps. And, and all that good stuff so go ahead and check you feel like it's cooled off a little bit so I'm just going to take this on this pan on over then yep it's cooled off put it in his bowl well, I guess not. It's not cool at all. Still feel a little hot. Grab it by the fingers. It's yeah. Oh yeah, he he knows. He knows what time it is. There he is. You ready? You ready, huh? Yeah, he's ready. Uh, go ahead and move the pot on over. So I'm going ahead and let. Let it cool down a little bit more. Get my utensils up out of here. So, you know, Mason doesn't mess with stuff, but never be too sure about eight year olds running around here grabbing stuff. So, make sure everything's straight. Um, before I feed biscuit. And then, folks, normally after he eats, you know, we leave uh, the back door. It'll be propped open because I'm about to go work out. And he'll go out so he can use the bathroom and all that good stuff. So I'm going to check the temperature on this again. So go ahead. So as you see, he is ready. So there he goes.
You stuff good, huh, puppy? And sometimes with it, well, mo every time with his food, like in the morning, he has to take apple quill because his allergies. He's got real bad allergies here in Kentucky. Um, I stick it inside his chicken to to confuse him because it used to be we used to be able to put it in peanut butter. He take that, but now he he didn't got hit to that <laughs> with the peanut butter, so he don't. He didn't. He quit trying to take the peanut butter when we put the medicine in it. So now I just uh, mm -hmm. stick it inside the meat and. He eats it. He, he doesn't think nothing about it. Because he's too busy worried about eating that meat. But so he is done, it looks like, with that. And normally he'll come on over and drink his water. I don't know if he's going to do that now. You done? There's nothing else in there for you. You gonna get some water? You ready to go outside? All right, now we're about to go outside. Come on. Come on. So go ahead and let him outside and let him do his business. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain. You good over there, puppy? Yeah, so it's supposed to be like 80% chance of rain all this week. And I gotta roll out tomorrow to the field, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm trying to set up stuff and and it's raining you know when you're a kid you used to like want to play out in the rain because it's cool and you get older you'd be like man i ain't trying to get trying to get wet and stuff so but this is gonna go ahead and finish doing what he's got to do uh, i'm gonna go um make sure everything's um finish cleaning up a little bit more washing the dishes and everything but hope you enjoyed the video him you know eating which I know that's not really nothing exciting to do watching a dog eat but uh, that's what sometimes what we fix him for dinner so let me know what you think in the comments uh, click like or whatever I know I'll probably get some derogatory remarks that's nothing new I'm good with that this it is what it is uh, but uh, until next time I hope everybody has a great and wonderful what is that, Monday night so until next time I'm out